is ABC Action News. Long lines at the polls right now. The push to extend early voting another day. Good evening, I'm Serena Fazan. And I'm Andrew Luria. Tonight, elections offices across the Bay Area are reporting record early voting numbers as thousands headed to the polls. Now, a senator from Florida who is on the ballot himself has joined the push to extend those hours. Our James Jackson has the story for us tonight. Nearly an hour after the voting sites closed, people were still in line. This is just one of the large crowds at the Jimmy B. Keel Regional Library. The line weaved its way through the parking lot. Record turnout has prompted some, including the Democratic Party, to request an extension. U.S. Senator Bill Nelson made the same request Saturday afternoon. But some voters don't think it's necessary. Even James Branham, who was the very last to cast his vote at the library. I personally believe that the time that was allotted to the voters to actually get out and vote was actually plenty of time. Jenny Bunch, who waited more than an hour to cast her vote, thinks it would get even more people out. I think that would be awesome. I think it's bizarre that it's not doesn't go all the way up until Tuesday. Ultimately, the governor makes the decision. Rick Scott was in the Bay Area Saturday. Friday, he refused the party's request. And Saturday, when asked about Senator Nelson wanting to extend voting, he responded. I haven't seen it. But the governor did remark on the overwhelming number of voters. I'm proud that this is a state where we have absentee voting, we have early voting. And people are out voting. Pasco County Supervisor of Elections Brian Corley agrees with the governor's decision on not extending the early voting. His county has seen an unprecedented number of voters. I don't see the need for it personally. I can only speak for my county. I mean, we had record numbers. We broke 10,000 in a single day. James Jackson, ABC Action News. And here are the totals we have. In Pasco County, 115,000 people cast their votes early. In Pinellas County, more than 8,000 people voted on Saturday, with a total of 39,000. And in Hillsborough County, 28,000 people voted on Saturday, bringing the total in that county to 166,000 early votes. President Obama and Governor Romney are not wasting a minute of the limited campaign time left on this final weekend before Election Day. Romney will make a stop in Pennsylvania tomorrow. Today he was in Colorado, New Hampshire, and Iowa. The former Massachusetts governor reminded supporters of what he has called President Obama's broken promises. Meanwhile, Obama and former President Bill Clinton are headed to New Hampshire.